Hey, Jacksonville, this is Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin, and I'm here today with the man. Who am I in the studio with? Big Phil, Big Phil. Big Phil, baby. Y'all heard me talk about Big Phil for the last few days. I've been telling you about his I'm Just Being Me album. But I told you that he has an EP that has just dropped, and glory to God. It's called 21st and Church. Phil, I know you're feeling good about it, huh? I'm feeling good about it, sir. I really do appreciate this. I appreciate this pop. Well, Bishop, you know, I call him <laughs> pop. That's my pop. It's my, my father, my covering. I'm so thankful to have just this acknowledgement and this endorsement of, of, of what God has done in my life. So. I think everybody who has a gift and has something to offer the body of Christ should be, uh, and I hate to use this word, showcased or celebrated, that we need to be able to support. You know, a whole lot of people as gifted as you are, a lot of musicians, a lot of singers, a lot of psalmists, they turn straight secular because they just don't have the support and the help that they need in the sacred. Yes, sir. Uh, the church doesn't acknowledge them, and then uh, the church tries to underpay them and get by, and, and people have a life. They have family. They have things they have to do, yep. and I think that God gives us these gifts, and he uh, gives us the ability to get wealth with our hands. Yes, sir. And so he does that so that his covenant or his um, kingdom and his covenant could be established in the earth. So I'm grateful to God for that. And Big Phil is the worship leader here at the Potter's House International Ministries. And we're in the studio here at the Potter's House International Ministries where Maurice Henderson is the engineer and man in charge. And um, we're here also with Byron Taylor. He's behind the scenes doing what he does, always filming. And Rod looking over the shoulder back there. <laughs> and uh, But it's good to be here. Phil, we're going to do a little bit of um, uh, discovery of this new church at 21st Street album. We're yes, going to have us sort of a semi-listening party. Yes, sir. All right, what yes, we're going to do is, is that we're going to play a little bit of these songs, and then we're going to talk about where that came from. Because I've often believed that even rap music is much better received when people understand uh, the meaning behind it, and so they can get the message from it. And I think that if, if you just hit a couple of these songs and then tell us, because some of these words and the lyrics in this song is straight up your experience yes, sir. and straight up biblical. So there's just some stuff in here that is redemptive. And young boys, young girls, all y'all out there, you got friends and folk out there that's in them streets, you better listen up real good. Yes, Feel, hit some, one of them songs right here. Then we're going to go. The first song is Watch Me Flex. Let's see if we can play a little bit of Watch Me Flex. And when we play this song, Phil's going to tell you how he came up with this concept of Watch Me Flex. Go ahead and roll that thing in, baby. Hit it. Love to make an interest. Question who's the best with the flow. Let me end this. Rappers only talking gangster, blah, blah, blah. What is this? What? Now we got it straight. It's time to get back to the business. It's been a minute. Took a break. Was eating off a different plate. Rapper turned to worship leader. See that there's a different plate. See some ones that came before me. Tried to do it anyway. They do it. I'm cool with it. That's probably my DNA. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the Jesus is the king, hallelujah. hallelujah. Catch me in church, I'm probably shouting in my boomers. Yeah. Those are facts. I don't wear no tie, I don't wear no suit. This that new church swag, I don't do the things you do. I made it cool to be a choir boy. Though I'm a daddy, ask my daughter, guarantee you she'll tell you I'm a wild boy. boy. Cut from a different cloth, I'm a new breed. Let's but go. with enough sense to know I need to bow where this feet. Hey, watch yeah. me flex, watch me flex. Yo, watch me flex, watch me flex. My faith lit, full of favor, and I'm blessed. I am blessed. Still Jesus, yeah. Watch me flex. My goodness, man. You ain't in church when Puma's on with no certain tie on on stage doing what you do. What's up with that? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I don't know. I, I This song was really just a way for me to just remind people it was the first, it was the introduction of the EP and the album. Just to say, hey, I'm back. I'm still flexing for the the grace and the power of God, yes, sir. Um, uh, just bringing my culture uh, to the music. I am a worship leader. I am a rapper. Um, I've been in it. I've been a part of this ministry. I became a man in this ministry, and I've never been forced to wear a suit. I never been forced <laughs> to have on the tie. He, he just told me to do my thing and make sure that um, I, you know, I, I got covered by him. He tell me. When, 
this is good, this not good, this is, and you always you always let me be me. So, so I hear that in the song. I, I, hear, I, hear that, I hear that in the song. Even my own son, I've never, Stephen, I never made him wear a suit or tie, and I don't wear a tie, you know, I, I'll right. do what I do and, right. and be who I am, because it's not about what we look like. Yes, sir. It's not about just being dressed up. It's yes, not about, and, and being a worship leader in the church, uh, have it step back a little bit from uh, the rap scene for a minute. Yes, I mean, sir. not completely out, but right. but you really didn't go whole hog with it. You didn't go all the way with it right. because you answered the call of God on your life. First at the Ville yes, sir. to step out and give some leadership there. We got to give a shout out to Jay. Appreciate him, yes, man, sir. and love yes, him. Shout out to him. Yes, sir. And then back here in the Potter's House as a worship leader, which was kind of a new vibe for you in a church this size. Yes, sir. Because of the, the you know, it's a pretty big church and the demand and the, the pressure and yes, being under those lights and leading other people. Yes, it's one thing when you're a solo act. It's another thing when you've got uh, everybody else on your back. Absolutely. But Absolutely. the support that we need and, and you still being able to be genius with your songs and come up with these lyrics. So how did you come up with the lyrics of that song? You just sitting there and just tripping and thinking. Yeah, about I was just, just thinking about what, you know, what I wanted to say to the people. Um, you know, I, I, I try to envision myself doing, anytime I'm writing, I envision myself doing it. So as I'm, uh, you know, writing, I'm, I'm envisioning me doing it in front of people. And I just wanted to really prove a point of the, uh, the importance of the things of God, not to say that you, you know, you know, the, your look and how you, you know, the external is not important, but I've always been free to be me. Um, right. And I just wanted to put more emphasis on that and to say how much God has blessed me. And uh, yo, you saying. blessed, you blessed with the sauce. I'm blessed. <laughs> yeah, we got to get to that, get that thing together right here. Cause you blessed with the sauce and this song right here, y'all, this, I love this song. You're going to, you're going to be telling folk you blessed with the sauce. And, um, and I, I promise you, you, you're going to be saying, what's the sauce? Well, feel free to tell you right now, as we go into this song, I want y'all to listen real good. This is track two on 21st and church. Just look at me in the face and say I'm blessed with the sauce. Uh, <laughs> Duval, that's where you find me. Uh, Duval, uh, I am God body and you will find God and his body you behind me. Uh, uh, pray, praying that the Lord save my homies cause the devil got him dying off in my streets. Uh, and these wrecked it execs trying to flex won't give me this time. No, no, not me. Can't put a price on my soul, it is not cheap. My Jeep, yeah, I'm back in the booth. Uh, still same mission, same lane, bring the truth. Still love the kids, bring change to the youth. Yes. And your boy get that OG love too. Okay. And everything in between that and the roof. I'm so grown, man, I'm so grown, man. So grown. Somebody get Kurt on the phone, man. <laughs> and tell him that we blessed with the sauce. Okay. And worship over swag be the program. Look at how I'm blessed with the sauce. Look at, look at how I'm blessed with the sauce. Woo. Look at how I'm blessed with the sauce. With the sauce. Then look at how I'm blessed with the sauce. With the sauce. Then look at I'm blessed with. Oh man, I told y'all. Y'all gonna be walking around here all day talking about you blessed with the sauce. What kind of sauce is that? In Louisiana? It's it's the it's nah it, well it's the Louisiana, it could be that, but this sauce what I was talking about is just just the covering and the blessing of God, man. I'm just thankful. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to put so much a thought process into being so extra biblical i i just wanted to be me and give god some glory on a couple of songs and that's how i open it up i'm blessed with the sauce and you could be blessed with the sauce your mama can and i don't care <laughs> no what side of town you on you could be blessed with the sauce. you know one so. thing that i like about you what i like about it is that you've got that you know you church boy now but you've yeah. got that street edge about you to where people can relate yes sir and people on the street can relate uh, it's an intriguing song. It's an inviting song because you want to know what that sauce is. Yes, sir. And and it, it, if you got it, you got it. You know, it's more like the grace of God on your life, yes, God's sir. hand on your life. I mean, God's all over you. I'm blessed with the sauce. Don't need the world. Don't need this. Don't need that. I'm already blessed with the sauce. Yes, I sir. got what I need, and and everything is just fine. Yes, sir. And and those type of lyrics, that type of groove and i'm listening to the beat who, who put the beats together for it uh though the first one was done by a, a, a production company called blazing beats um this one was done by a guy 
name was he, he's a he's a secular art a secular producer well he's a producer and he does a lot of secular stuff and he heard some stuff online and i just connected with him he said i like what you do and what i like know. about you is that you'll connect with whoever you need to connect with yeah. to get the excellence out of what you're trying to get yes, i mean everybody's making beats but your beats are a little bit different and and I know that you're not satisfied with just a poop 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 poop. No. You you need something that you could feel. I've seen you in the studio. Yes, sir. I've seen you on the mic, and I see you work and work and work till you get it right. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. and that's what good music is all about. And this EP, I'm telling y'all, man, you can get it on iTunes. Uh, where else can you get it? You get it on iTunes, Amazon, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, anywhere you oh. stream music. You can download it. It is yours. Google Play, anywhere though, any of those. Oh, yes. man, that's awesome. That's what they say, huh? That's yes, what they that's say. What they they say. say. Well, let's get to that. That's what they say. Yes, sir. I want to hear that. This, this song right here. You know, you know how they say, you know, y'all remember I used to look at the church and I used to ask people, who is Dane? You know, folk always talking about they said and they said, well, who is they? And I was looking for the day family one day. I think <laughs> Phil found them. Let's look and listen to this song. It said, they say this is track three on the EP 21st in church. Yeah. They say we're new lovers. They come new devils. Say if they knew better, they would do better. Take the money to the hood, we call it new fetter. And have you ever seen my team lose? Never. Woo! They say with new levels, they come new devils. Woo! See if they knew better, they would do better. Woo! Take the money to the hood, call it new fetter. And have you ever seen my team lose? Never. Fresh out the house of God, yeah. Me and my brand new squad, yeah. Ex goons from the block, yeah. Rap truth on the spot, yeah. I used to be concerned about what they say. Okay. Pray they next for strength and then he put me on my A game. Now it's about my lady. Plus four for my babies, they gon' always be around when this game is acting shady. Yeah. Never trust the industry, these labels too shaky. Uh -huh. War on everything, them suits and ties tried to break me, but I'm here. I do my best to put my state in. Oh, yeah, I felt that. I was just about <laughs> feeling that, baby. Do that and take it to the hood and call it better. Yeah, baby, they say. <laughs> so yes, the, the world says you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that, you need this, but you can't worry about what they say. Can't worry about what they say. I I spent a, a whole lot of time at one point in time in my life worrying about what they say. And God, you know, through time and covering and delivering me and say, man, listen, you can't focus on that. Focus on what I want you to say and who I want you to be. Oh, wow. and, and it kind of just kind of pick it back off of yesterday, uh, yesterday when, in, in your broadcast when you talked about the importance of just being who you are and not labeling yourself all right, the time right. and you know or trying to fit a label or trying or to fit trying a label. to fit trying to fit what people think you ought to be yes sir and and yes, there sir. are people who would try to misguide you even in your career yes sir and tell you now nah, if you're going to be successful you got to do this right. if you're going to be successful you got to do that well you know you're going to have to have a posse you know you're going to have to do this and that you know you have to stay no i got a wife I got a baby boy. I got a scooter. I got a baby in college <laughs> yes, and grad school. Yes, sir. I got folk. I got things. I'm a working man. I do what I got to do, and I got to be me. Yes, sir. And and if you just be who you are, and I think a lot of people need to learn that. Just be who you are. You know, uh, I told somebody the other day about Big Field. I said, well, you know, Field could go hard. You could be up in New York. You could be up in Chicago. You could be making tracks with the boys in the hood and doing what you got to do, laying out some tracks, put a little cussing in there, slipping up and doing this and that. But you say, man, I'm blessed with the souls. Yes, sir. And, and if God wants that for me, it's going to happen. Yes, sir. If God doesn't want that for me, it ain't going to happen. I just have to show up and do my part. Absolutely. And he'll do the rest. Yes, sir. And key to that, too, is like we're doing now is having support and having people that cover you and having that sauce to be dripping off of you. And if you got to deal with, and I heard you say this in one of your songs, if, if you got to deal with the crew you got in your pocket, if you got the fans that you got with you right now, those who appreciate you right now, if that's who you were assigned to, the minister to, for the rest of your life, then so be it. Yes, sir. And that's, 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 that's dope. Because that, a lot of people don't pick that up. That's oh. dope. <laughs> I, 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 that, that's, that was, I hold dear to that to that uh to that rhyme um they uh they say i should do it all for the bands 
Nah, I'd rather keep these pockets full of fans. That's it, my and, friend. Like, I really was. So. And, and, and I picked that up, and uh, I've been listening, man, and I'm like, that's it. That's going to be the key because godliness with contentment is great game. Yes, sir. It's that when we be content with such things that we have, uh, with food and clothing, be content. You know, roof over your head, clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, food on your table, a happy life, a happy wife, yes, a Lord. family. When those things are important and first, you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things that people seek after, God will add them to you. Yes, and God's going to add some stuff to you. Matter of fact, let me look and see what my next song is on the playlist. Song number four on this playlist, and we're going to go there. Oh, What We Do, featuring Philo. Now, this is a good one, y'all. Y'all got to hear this. Hold on. Strap in. <laughs> this is on the EP, uh, 21st in church. Now, now, just, just listen. And listen real good. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the heart of the land of the free. Given by the most high, that's the man living me. I ain't talking about America neither. Talking about the one who giving life to my people. Jesus, oh, please don't mistake me for your equal. Born I'm by this music, Phoenix had a sequel. God is the influence. Mix that with the hood, mix that with my mama. Mix that with these females, mix that with that drama. Chase down them commas, yeah. Took my mind off the money. And through my heart and my faith, yeah So if you ain't about them vibes, get up out of my face, yeah I just wanna be a blessing And make sure we under a roof Lose a couple pounds for the stress And real chicken salad with some coos See what I hope you understand it The devil busy out here doing damage And we just trying to change the mood Cause life is real so we no longer play games with you, yeah I know that you see we making more <laughs> you got to explain that one, bigger. You got to explain that with what we do, what we do. It's what we do, and it was just it was just a reminder to myself of keep pushing, keep moving. Um, you know, this is who I am. This is what God has made me. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of people. Um, you know, there was a time where I said a lot of people wanted me. You know, I'm a singer, I, I'm a worship leader, I sing and I rap. And then you have a group of people that be like, hey, you should just be doing this or you should just be doing that. And I say, man, I'm going to just do what God wants me to do. And that's that's both. And and, the, and and really put emphasis on to people. That song really, I, I wrote it out of if you have these gifts, it's important that people know mm -hmm. how important this is to God and his people, not in the per se of, well, he got to have feel to do it. No, but he's giving me these gifts and this is what I'm going to do. And it's not a game, even though it may appear to be all about us bouncing up and down and jumping up and around. But I really want you to hear these words. That's why I said uh, to see the devil's busy out here. Uh, see, I hope you understand this. The devil busy out here doing damage, but we just trying to change the mood because life is real and we ain't no longer playing games with you. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so, so rap music and even the words you just spoke uh, really uh, create sort of a spiritual warfare where you can actually speak into the atmosphere yes, sir. and speak into the lives of people and it generates and regenerates them and gives them something to live for, something sure. to hope for. Yes, sir. And what's better than just being what God called you to be and doing what God called you to do? Absolutely. That's the greatest peace that I've ever found. Absolutely. I've have a lot I have a lot of critics and and I know that when people don't understand you a lot of times they they misunderstand you. Yes. And and they'll they'll try to categorize you and again go back to that label and try to label you oh he's just this or he's just that or i remember one time i was trying to help somebody and i took him and i showed him around the property and stuff here and i was talking to him and tried to humble myself to him and they left me and then later on i got a call where a guy said yeah a guy said he met you a friend of mine the other day he said you're the most insecure person he ever met in his life and here i am thinking i'm being me and humbling myself but they've never seen anybody take the low road and humble themselves and give God the glory for everything wow. and this and that. It, it seemed like I was saying that I did nothing to earn this. I did nothing to get this. All I did was be me. And that wasn't enough for them wow. because they were looking for some type of pragmatic five steps and six keys and seven ways. They wanted me to show them how to get what I got. Mm. All I did was told them who I served. So that makes a difference. <laughs> so let me just say this to you as we get ready because now the next song, <clears throat> Y'all just hold on. Young and Reckless. 
Now, <clears throat> this might be a personal testimony, and I'm gonna let Phil tell you about it after you hear just a little bit of this song, Young and Restless. church on a Sunday morning on my way to hell, I was savage. I told them that I was by their life, but they couldn't tell I was savage. Chicks everywhere, chicks everywhere, that boy was a savage. Young and reckless, young and hopeless, that boy was a savage. I was, I was a savage. I was, I was a savage. That boy was a savage. I was, I was a savage. I was, I was a Savage, that boy was a savage Young and reckless, young and hopeless That boy was a savage Young and reckless, young and hopeless That boy was a Young boy thought he was the truth Didn't realize he was just a fool Full of that guy, he never wanted to play by the rules Didn't realize he was just a tool, yeah, yeah. They tell me, shorty outside and it's a bad sign Yeah, I know, I ain't know I try hard not to take that ride, but turn around and I go, I go, she said, Ooh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, singing up in church, going to hell, boy, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, <laughs> honey's everywhere, uh, you Man. killing them, and they thought you were savage, oh, in the church, and boy, you were savage, oh my God. God, I don't want you to go too much detail because yes, your wife does work for me. Yes, sir. And, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. She is administrative assistant to me and my wife. So uh, what was that all about? That was uh, experiences. Um, that was real situations that happened in my life. And um, it, it was sparked to me to do because I travel and, and see young guys. And I got a lot of artist friends and they, uh, they, you know, a lot of them are doing a lot of big things considered career-wise. And, man, I still notice that even in the midst of them doing all of what they do, there's still just like a a need to repent, a need right. to uh, to understand that uh, this, is, this is temporary, what you got going on, but uh, your soul is eternal. And I, one of them, I was like, man, I, I need to really talk to you. You need to really examine yourself. And it, re I, it it led me to write this song because it was my life at one point in time. And now I realize the importance of those that come after me, those that come up under me, that ask me all these questions, that want to know about my life. And I'm not afraid to share that anymore because of what God has done. You know, you, you also say in the song that uh, being honest is who you are. You're just big feel. And uh, sometimes people say that's to your disadvantage. Yes. That uh, being honest and being transparent yes. can hurt you when honestly it can set you free. Yes, sir. And when you're honest and then there's somebody else, like you said, who needs your testimony. Yes, sir. Who said, I've been there, done that. That's temporary. Yep. That's not going to last. And the one thing I like about God, I really do. I uh, look at my own life, you know, people see you as a bishop or pastor in a church and think there's no wrong you've ever done. Or, um, and then sometimes in my position, you can't really be as transparent as you would like to be. So I thank God for people like you that, <laughs> that don't <laughs> mind sharing all of your stuff because, uh, you know, I've been through some things. I've made some bad choices. And, uh, you know, overall, God's hand has, has really shown itself mighty on my behalf. Yes. And I'm grateful to God for it, but it wasn't because of me. It wasn't. It yes, was sir. because of what he, he had called me to do and the, and the sauce that was on my life. Yes, sir. Uh, gave me a different flavor, my friend. Yes, and, sir. And uh, I'm so thankful to God for that. Now, we, we're running out of time, but I want to get to a little bit of uh, Jesus Be a Fence. Let's just go there. Yes, sir. Jesus Be a Fence, and we'll end up with that one. A little Faith is on here, too, featuring King Chad, but... Uh, uh, we're going to look at Jesus be a fence all around me every day. Not quite. You take a look. <laughs> Jesus be a fence to the 
youngins out here chasing me. Jesus be a fence. Now, where'd that come from? This, that, that came from. Um, I, I know was, it came from. Be a fence all around me <laughs> every day. I'm sorry, but go ahead. No, the, that's Fred I, Hammond, right? It, yeah. that's, that's, that's Fred that's, Hammond. That's, Shout out to Fred. That's yeah. Fred. It came from the the content came from one day I was uh, going up to Andrew Jackson every uh, every week. I would go to Andrew Jackson and just serve the kids in there, and um, just conversations with some of these young guys that. Uh, are connected to the streets, 15, 16, 17 years old, and they have no regard for their lives. They feel like they got nothing to live for. They're in gangs. And uh, just conversations with them, um, just hearing the, some of the things that they went through, I wrote this song out of saying, man, Lord, Jesus be a friend, protect them. Because they, 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 they're young, they're, they're, they're reckless, they don't know who you are. Lord, please just, I'm pr I just want them to know that somebody's praying for them, that somebody oh, that's loves them. that's awful. That's an intercession. Fire up a little faith right here as I yes, get sir. ready to close. We only got a minute and 30 seconds left. But this uh, EP called uh, 21st in Church is out here, like you said, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, Apple Store. It's out here and Apple Music, Big Feel. That's Big Feel, F-I-L, if you want to type it in and get it going. Uh, Big Phil is the worship leader here at the Potter's House International Ministries. He is doing a great job. He's a family man. His wife is my wife's personal assistant and office assistant to me. And little Scooter is hitting me on my snacks every day after service. He's eating me out of house and home. That's his only begotten son. Whoever believes on him shall perish and not have everlasting life. Amen. So that's Big Phil. Y'all, cue up little faith as we get ready to go out of here. Yes, and I want y'all to know that you can hear him Wednesday nights and Sunday here at the Potter's House. If you don't buy his music, just come by and check him out. Ask for him. If you just want to high five and get some worship over swag, gear, some stuff, just contact Big Phil. You can go to worshipoverswag.com and you can take a look at some gear and let the Lord use it. So we're going to go out a little bit with a little faith. Come on, push it in here and let's go. Cooked up with Jizzle, created some visuals and guess what? I'm still eating off of that plate. Pen and picture, paying ties, pastors, politics and bill pass. Dude, tell me what I'm missing. Fiending for a feature just to get a mention. Drop a mixtape. They gon' think I'm dissing. Give them dope lines. Got a co-sign. About to go on tour. That's in no time. Rappers ain't real. Mess with your mind. Bristol told me feel. Get on your Grind, boy, they ain't taking your shine, yeah, that was back in 09, if I ain't do nothing right, I found my wife and she fine, yeah, love me past all my faults, my wife it's like I had a boy coast, yeah. so I stand Hey, look here, we're gonna, we, we done there, but right here, I just want to shout out uh, for the Facebook folk and let you know that Big Phil uh, has done everything I've asked him to do, uh, it was a challenging uh, task to come into the Potter's house. We've had some great worship leaders. Uh, he's following Jody McCullough. Uh, we've had the people from the late Jimmy Hill uh, to Dale Williams, um, Shirley Smith, uh, and, and others that have come through here. Uh, he's supported by the one and only Javon Hill and Jimmy Hill and Alex Hill and AJ and Big Bobby and all of these guys uh, in here and uh, make a team. Yes, sir. It's one of the best places to be for just an awesome raw worship experience with excellence and music and stuff. And so I'm so glad to have him here. But he's also a rap artist. He's not ashamed of that. And rap music uh, is something that is not the devil's music. Uh, the devil perverts music. And there's a culture out here, Phil, a yes, hip-hop culture. And so many times people uh, equate rap music to the hip hop culture, expecting us to be just like everybody, even have the same type of exploitation that they have. But I'm telling you, there is a raw music that comes from the hearts 
of born again believers and people that's positive, that's real, that is socially conscious, economically, racially, and it brings people together, not tear people apart. Yes, sir. These words are legit. These songs on this EP is legit. The songs on the previous albums, you had the uh, I'm Just Being Me, and you had the one before that. Um, um, uh, Stadium Status and Life of Phoenix Ave. And Life of Phoenix Ave. And uh, uh, Phoenix has a sequel. Yes. And I'm so glad that we've been able to experience that as we watch you grow and watch you go. Yes, so, Thank big you. man, I want you to know I love you. I'm going to be you. there for you. Yes, I got sir. you. Bizak, yes, sir. And everything going to be all right. Yes, sir. Because Magnolia Gardens got a secret. Uh, <laughs> so, we're going to yes, give you all a shout out. We're going to say the next time. God bless you. Love y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate my pops. Appreciate Bishop. We'll see y'all next time. Yes, sir. This ain't it. Damn.